Hey everyone, Sammy here, and today we're going to get into a video of uh, basically some of the features in Windows 10. Now, today I'm going to start off with a video about the new start menu. So it's really good to see the start menu is back. And uh, one of the main reasons for me upgrading to Windows 10 uh, was to see the start menu being back. I actually didn't upgrade to Windows 8, but I did play around with Windows 8 and 8.1, uh, but personally, I really like the new start menu. It gives you basically all of the stuff that you need, and it actually is a total improvement over Windows 7, in my opinion. So on the side here, we've got our file explorer, settings, power, and all apps. Now, if we go into all apps here, this is basically just gonna give you all of your applications. Uh, but what I do like to see here, uh, coming from Windows 7, is the recently added option here. So if we expand that, you can see all of the software that I've just installed recently. And this is a, a much needed change over Windows 7 in my opinion, because I didn't ever really like seeing like highlighted applications that were new. I like the option right here to see all the recently added programs that I've installed, which is really nice to see. We've also got zero to nine, so numbers and stuff like that. Um, and also A to Z, so it makes it very easy to uh, sort of see all of the different applications. So if we click on uh, the letter A, for example, it's going to let us see all of the different applications that are highlighted that actually have, um, you know, for example, A or D or H. So if we click on, like, for example, letter P, it's going to bring up all applications that are, you know, related to letter P and in that order. So very nice to see that in, in that change as well. And it's very, very smooth, as you can see very smooth with uh, you know going through applications now also on the side here we've got something that is from windows 8 and 8.1 and this is something that i can live with this is something that i actually you know enjoy so far about windows 8 uh, sorry windows 10 start menu uh the windows 10 start menu brings on the live tiles from windows 8 and as you can see here we've got weather maps um you know alarm clocks twitter and also applications. So you can really organize this the way that you want it to look. So for example, I can, you know, move this around down here or I can change the text of it. You know, I can do a whole lot of other things here and I can really make it look the way I want to. You can also extend it out if you want to. So you've got, you know, four different um, spots for different applications. You can, you can actually enlarge it so you can make it taller or smaller if you want to. So there's a lot of like different customization that, options that you've got for the start menu and it's really nice to see that. So something that I would like to see though is more applications taking use of the live tiles and I, I imagine when, you know, as more applications are um, updated and stuff like that, we will see, you know, probably options for, you know, live tiles being updated. So something like Steam would be nice to see like ha having uh, the option to see if somebody sent you a message on uh, Steam maybe having that option to see that that you received a message or something like you earned a new achievement and it shows up there. Something just uh, simple as that and uh, definitely would be nice to see that. As you can see here, I've also got my most uh, recent applications that I use and uh, yeah, some really cool additions there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if there is one feature about Windows 10 start menu that you really like. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.